Hey guys, Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to another modding tutorial. In this tutorial today, we're going to be working on adding crafting recipes. Now, I said I was going to do food, but I thought that I would cover crafting recipes before we actually get on with that, because you're probably wondering how I'm actually going to get these items. So, uh, we've got to add in crafting recipes, and it's quite easy, so let's get straight into it. So, crafting recipes go in your normal initialization method here, and what we have to do is first type in game registry and then you want to go add recipe and you want to click you want to enter on the second option here so it would be add recipe item stack output comma object parameters so you click on that and then for the output what you want to do is type in new space item stack capital i capital s two brackets and then you want to copy the variable name of the item that you want to create so i'm going to create this item table. So that's practically the output of the crafting recipe. Now we've actually got to define the crafting recipe and now this is where it could get a little a little bit confusing, 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 losing, losing. See, I'm, I'm giving you a good example there. I'm confusing my words. No, but seriously, this is where it could get a little bit confusing. So make sure you follow along well and listen carefully and I'm going to try and explain my best to um, explain it to you guys. Now I'm pretty sure you don't have to do this but what you want to do is type in new space object put two square brackets after it and then put two squiggly brackets after it put a semicolon on the end of the line. Now what I want you to do is enter three quotation marks separated by a comma. So one, let's see, double quotation marks, comma, quotation marks, comma, quotation mark so it should look something like that then what I want you to do is um, leave the first one at the start of the second quotation marks hit enter then hit space until you get in line with the first one again so you should be in line with that do it go in front of the third one third one hit space oh and it automatically brings it down in line with it that's nice so let's say each of these quotation marks represents one row in the crafting table um, GUI. And how you define each material in each slot is setting them to a character. So you want to set a character on your keyboard to a material. So for gold, you might set gold to the character G. Um, if you want to set diamond, you might, just for easy looking at it, you might set it to D. If you want to set iron, you might set it to I. It doesn't really matter, it can be any key on the keyboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a T shape because a table, um, if you think about it, it's kind of like a little T shape. You got the support, and then you got the um, top at the bottom. You got the the uh, table at the top. Now, just to visualize this a lot better, what I'm going to do is just create a little document here. And what we'll do is just get a do 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 nothing real fancy. So just go across like that. This is just going to visualize the crafting table. So you've got nine slots. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a crafting table. So, uh, or not a crafting table, we're going to create a table. So I said I wanted to do a T-shape. So we're going to have a wood plank here, wood plank here, wood plank here, wood plank there, and a wood plank there. So we're going to assign this wood plank here to the letter W. So what we need to do is think about this. This is, the this is the first row, the second row, and then the third row. So for the first row, we want to put in three W's. So one, two, three. So on the first row here, put three W's, one, two, three. In the second one, we've got a space, W, and then a space. So we do exactly that, space, W space. Then the last one is the same space W space space W space and there we go there's our crafting recipe. Now we're not completely done yet we've actually got to tell Minecraft what the character W is. It, I, I know it's it's there it's W stands for wood but it doesn't know that, that W stands for wood so we've got to tell it that. So after this third bracket put another comma then you want to put a space, and then you want to put single quotations, and then inside that single quotations, put that W, and then after those single quotations, put another comma, 
and then this is where we get to tell Minecraft what this W is. So we want, we want to tell it that that W is a, a a plank. So we have to type in blocks dot and then find the plank in there. So we're going to give it um, actually we'll just go back here, do that dot again so it brings up that list. We're going to type in oak and a plank planks. Yeah, we're just going to write in planks. So click blocks and then do dot planks and then find whatever material that you want to set it to. This has every block block in the game in this list. If you want items, simply just do items dot and then that will give you a whole list of all the items in the game. But we're going to be doing blocks a block for this one. So we'll do block oh not not block, blocks, make sure you do blocks, not block. So planks. And there we go. We'll test this crafting recipe out, so we'll run the game now. So we'll get a crafting table out, and then we'll get some planks. Pop that down, then open this up. And then we're going to do the T shape as we defined, so three at the top there. Space, plank, space, space, plank, space. And as you can see, it's giving us our crafting, oh no, our table item. So we can click on that, take it out, and there we go. Now we're going to do a crafting recipe for the block and now we're actually going to add another material into the crafting recipe. So again, create a new line. Actually what we can do is you don't need to put these like this anymore. You can actually take this back to a single line. So you just get rid of that and then just bring it back up to the top line there. Bring it up to the top line there like that. And it just makes it a lot more compact. Now under this one, type it again. Game registry dot add recipe. Second option, and then for the first bit, type in new item stack, and then put in the variable name, block table. Make sure it's inside those brackets, and then you want to do new object square brackets and squiggly brackets, comma at the on a yeah a semicolon at the end of the line. Then we put in our three quotations, separate it by a comma. And then we're just going to bring that down onto a new line. So how I think this recipe is going to go is we're going to have a redstone block there, redstone block there, redstone block there, redstone block in the middle there. We'll cover that up just so I don't get annoyed with it. And then a redstone block down here. And then in the corners, we're going to have a coal block coal block there, coal block there, coal block there, and a coal block there. So I'm going to give the coal block the character C. So character, oops, it's a bit hard to see. Um, <laughs> it's a bit hard to see that C. And then I'm going to give the redstone block the character R. So let's put that into our crafting recipe. So we got C, R, C. So put that in, C, R, C. Then we got R, 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 and then C, red C. Then after that third quotation, put a comma, then put single quotes, and in that first one, put C, then do another comma, and then you want to define that letter C. So we're going to make it. We're going to make it a cold block. So we'll make it block blocks dot coal block. Then do a comma after that blocks dot coal block. And you want to do another single quotation and put in the R. Comma after that and then do blocks dot redstone block. And there we go, we've just sucked we've defined the C and the R for the crafting recipe and we should now be able to create it. What we might actually do is just change this redstone block here. I think I might change it to an item instead just, just to show you. So items dot let's see. Items dot redstone. Same thing, but just the redstone item. So we'll click save and we'll go ahead and run the client. So our crafting recipe was four redstone coal blocks in the corner then redstone in the middle like that and there we go there is our table which doesn't even look like a table but there we go we crafted it awesome
So you can put that back up onto one line as well, just to make it more compact. Now one last thing that you can do is, in this item stack here, you can change the quantity that it outputs. So after the item table, simply put a comma, and then put the number of items that you would want from it. Now only up to 64 obviously, um, but you can do 2, and then for the block table we might do 10 from one recipe. So I'll just quickly show you that. So as you can see when we craft the item we get two tables. When we craft the block we get 10 blocks from it. Now I don't think I need to go over a brief overview of what we did in this tutorial today. I explained it quite well in my opinion and hopefully you guys learn how to add crafting recipes into the game today. So if you did make sure you hit that like button, um, subscribe if you are new and you're enjoying these tutorials. Um, and I will see you guys for the next tutorial, which will probably be food. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.